This is Field Sports Channel News. A new survey finds that Europeans are not against hunting tourism. YouGov surveyed more than 7,000 people. Despite claims from anti-hunting groups that 85% of people are against international hunting, YouGov finds that only 23% disagree with keeping animal parts or trophy hunting, while 77% either approve or a neutral. The survey was commissioned by the European Federation for Hunting and Conservation and supported by Safari Club International. Uh, FACE as well as several other sustainable use organisations including Safari Club International uh, led this research together with YouGov uh, to prove that 85% of Europeans are not against trophy uh, imports but actually only 23% of Europeans are against this which is a huge difference. European farming protests are ramping up. A rural workers demo in Ballata in Scotland on Monday the 22nd of January 2024 went ahead despite the Scottish Government cancelling the visit of First Minister Hamza Youssef and Green Minister Lorna Slater because of the weather. The turnout of angry farmers in tractors mirrors protests in Berlin with tractors blocking the German capital. The French are also taking part with this flambeau de tracteur. The French and Germans are campaigning about a range of issues including food imports. Thanks to Richard Walton for the story. A campaign to change Scotland's controversial wildlife and muirburn bill has won an extra fortnight to try and change MSPs' minds. A thousand Basque members in Scotland signed a letter urging changes to the bill, which is described as unworkable and impractical. The bill wants a ban of muirburn and to bring in a licensing system for grouse moors. A hearing is due to take place this week, but has now been postponed until next month while the government examines evidence. Basque will be monitoring the progress of the bill into that date, briefing MSPs ahead of that postponed date. East Midlands Airport is facing six criminal charges relating to alleged pollution of the River Trent. The Environment Agency is bringing the case following complaints from Derby Railway Angling Club. It cites pollution from drainage into the river in 2021 and 2022. The prosecution comes after a sustained campaign from Fish Legal. A team of rowers, including two Field Sports Channel members, have finished ninth in a 3,000 mile transatlantic rowing race. These pictures show former soldier Tom Atkinson and serviceman Paul Rodenite arriving in Antigua to an emotional welcome after 40 days, 3 hours and 31 minutes at sea. They're part of a four-man crew who set off in the race in early December as part of the world's toughest row. They hope to have raised more than £10,000 for charity. Six months after it was feared that United Utilities would ban shooting on its land, the water company is winning praise for its common sense approach. The largest water company in the UK announced in 2023 that it did not plan to renew shooting leases on its land, prompting calls for a review from Basque. Now a consultation is underway, which Basque say it is conducting with common sense, with evidence presented to show how shooting is good for conservation. People who steal dogs or cats could face five years in jail when new government legislation comes into force. A new law relating to pet theft has been discussed since 2021. The new bill outlawing pet abduction has now had its first reading in Parliament and was passed unopposed. The government has delayed plans to force house builders to do more to restore wildlife. Its flagship nature positive legislation was announced as part of the 2021 Environment Act. Developers were to be told to create 10% more new habitat for wildlife when they build. Now the future of that policy is in doubt. And finally, even vegans are attacking Chris Packham over his latest advertising campaign. The BBC TV presenter took to X, formerly Twitter, to talk up a fake milk brand made out of rice. They were especially angry that the rice comes from Cambodia, with non-vegans pointing out that cows make the stuff in the UK. You are now up to date with Field Sports Channel News. Stalking the stories, fishing for facts.